Welcome back to Computer Hackers, the ultimate destination for anyone who's ever wanted to understand how hacking really works. If you're brand new to the world of ethical hacking, cybersecurity, or penetration testing, this video is your complete beginner's guide. We'll walk you through everything from setting up Kali Linux to using essential tools like Metasploit and Burp Suite, solving CTFs, capture the flag, and even stepping into the world of bug bounty hunting. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly where to start, what to learn, and how to build a future in cybersecurity. Let's dive in. What is ethical hacking? Before touching a single tool, you need to understand what ethical hacking is. Ethical hacking is the practice of using hacking techniques, legally and with permission, to help companies secure their systems. While malicious hackers, also called black hat hackers, break into systems to steal data, ethical hackers use those same techniques to find vulnerabilities and report them before they're exploited. This is often referred to as white hat hacking. Companies pay security professionals to test their networks, applications, and devices to find weaknesses. The goal is simple. Fix the vulnerabilities before someone with bad intentions discovers them. Ethical hacking isn't just about technical skills. It's also about trust, responsibility, and following a strict code of conduct. You'll only test systems where you have explicit permission. Hacking anything else is illegal and unethical. So make sure you're always playing on the right side of the law. Setting up Kali Linux, your hacking lab. To begin hacking, you need a dedicated environment, and that's where Kali Linux comes in. Kali is a Linux distribution created specifically for penetration testing and digital forensics. It's developed and maintained by Offensive Security and comes preloaded with hundreds of tools for ethical hacking. Here's how to get started with Kali. Go to the official Kali Linux website and download the ISO file. Install VirtualBox or VMware on your computer. Create a new virtual machine and select the Kali ISO as the boot disk. Allocate enough RAM, at least 2 GB, and disk space, 2040 GB recommended. Once Kali is installed, open the terminal and update the system. sudo apt update and then sudo apt upgrade. This environment will be your playground where you can break things, experiment with tools, and develop your skills without any risk to real-world systems. You can also install vulnerable machines like Metasploitable 2 or DVWDA to simulate attacks. These systems are intentionally insecure and safe to exploit. Metasploit Framework Learning Exploitation Once Kali is set up, one of the first tools you'll want to explore is Metasploit Framework. Metasploit is an open-source exploitation framework that lets you find validate, and exploit known vulnerabilities. It contains a huge collection of exploits, payloads, and post-exploitation modules that help ethical hackers simulate real-world attacks. Here's how you use Metasploit. Open a terminal and type. Misconsole. Let's say you've scanned a system and discovered an FTP server running an old version. You can search for an exploit like this. Search visfept. Select the exploit module. Use exploit, Unix, FEP, VizFIP, 234, backdoor. Set the target's IP address. Set RHOST 192.1680.105. Run the exploit. Run. If the target is vulnerable, Metasploit might give you a shell, remote access to the system. Always use legal environments when working with Metasploit. Never test real servers, websites, or networks without written permission. Instead, use test labs and purposely vulnerable machines. Mastering Metasploit teaches you how real-world exploits work and how to protect against them. Burp Suite Web Application Testing Burp Suite is one of the most popular tools for web application security testing. If you're interested in website hacking, bug bounty hunting, or application security, learning Burp Suite is essential. Burp Suite acts as a proxy between your browser and the internet. It captures and allows you to manipulate the HTTP requests and responses. This is useful for discovering hidden fields, vulnerable parameters, and testing how web apps handle malicious input. Here's how to get started. Open Burp Suite Community Edition. Set your browser proxy to 127.0, 0.1 on port 8080. Turn on intercept mode in Burp. Visit a website in your browser. You'll see the request appear in Burp. You can now inspect it, forward it, or send it to other tools like Repeater or an Intruder. 
Some practical things you can do with Burp. Test login forms for SQL injection. Modify cookies or tokens. Replay requests with altered parameters. Automate fuzzing and brute force attacks. Burp also has modules for scanning, spidering, and identifying vulnerabilities in the application. The Community Edition is free and more than enough to learn the basics. Capture the flag, CTF, challenges, learning by doing. Now that you're getting comfortable with tools, it's time to learn how hackers actually think. And there's no better way to do that than through CTFs, short for capture, the flag. A CTF is a game-like challenge where you're given a problem to solve, usually involving hacking into a server, decoding a password, or finding a hidden message. When you solve it, you retrieve a flag, usually a string like CTF, U underscore found underscored. CTS are used in cybersecurity competitions, job interviews, and educational platforms. There are different types of CTF challenges, web exploitation, hacking websites and web apps, cryptography, cracking ciphers and encoded messages, forensics, analyzing memory dumps, logs, or network captures, binary exploitation, hacking compiled programs using techniques like buffer overflows, reverse engineering, analyzing software behavior without source code. To get started, try these beginner platforms. Try Hackin, very beginner-friendly guided learning paths. Hack the box, realistic scenarios, OSCP-style labs, Overthwire, terminal-based puzzles focused on Linux and command line skills. CTS help develop real-world thinking, how to find a weakness, dig deeper, and exploit it. They also build persistence, you might spend hours solving a single challenge, and that's okay. The reward is in the learning. Bug Bounty. Get paid to hack legally. Once you're confident in your skills, you can start hunting bugs for money. Bug Bounty platforms allow ethical hackers to legally test websites, apps, and APIs for vulnerabilities, and get rewarded when they find one. Some major platforms include HackerOne, BugCrowd, Synac, YesWayHack, Here's how it works. Sign up and choose a public program. Read the scope carefully. It tells you what you're allowed to test. Perform reconnaissance. Find subdomains, endpoints, and hidden parameters. Test for common web vulnerabilities. SQL injection, XSS, IDOR, SSRF, CSRF, etc. If you find something, document it clearly and report it through the platform. A valid report can earn you anywhere from $50 to several thousand dollars depending on the severity and the company. Bug bounty hunting requires patience, creativity, and strong technical knowledge. It's not passive income. You'll face duplicates, rejections, and dry spells. But over time, you'll improve, and the wins will come. Before starting, learn the OWSP Top 10, a list of the most critical web vulnerabilities. Injection, broken authentication, sensitive data exposure, XML external entities, broken access control, security misconfiguration, XSS, cross-site scripting, insecure deserialization, components with known vulnerabilities, insufficient logging and monitoring. Also focus on building your recon and reporting skills. Tools matter, but creativity matters more. Essential tools for beginners, Here's a list of must-know tools every beginner ethical hacker should become familiar with. Kali Linux, your base operating system with all the tools included. Map, network scanner used to discover devices, open ports, and services. Wireshark, network analyzer for capturing and inspecting packets in real time. Hydra, tool for brute force login attacks on various protocols. John the Ripper, password cracking tool. GoBuster slash derp. Directory and file brute forcers used to discover hidden URLs. Squillmap, tool for detecting and exploiting SQL injection flaws. Nikto, web vulnerability scanner. Burp Suite, web app testing and interception proxy. Metasploit, exploitation framework for finding and using vulnerabilities. You don't need to master all of them at once. Start with one tool at a time. Use it in your lab understand what it does, read the manual, watch tutorials, then move to the next. Roadmap to becoming an ethical hacker. Let's wrap it all up with a clear roadmap. Learn the basics of networking and operating systems, especially Linux. Understand how the internet works, 
HTTP, DNS, IPs, ports, protocols. Set up your lab environment with Kali Linux and practice machines. Learn and practice hacking tools like MAP, Metasploit, and Burp Suite. Practice regularly with CTS and platforms like TryHackMe or Hack the Box. Study real-world vulnerabilities and keep up with security news. Start exploring bug bounty platforms, even if you're not ready to report. Build a portfolio, blog your learning, share your write-ups, and track your progress. Consider certifications if you're aiming for a job, like OSCP, CEH, or PNPT. Network with other hackers. Join communities on Discord, Reddit, Twitter, and GitHub. Remember, ethical hacking isn't a sprint, it's a journey. You don't need to know everything on day one. Just start, keep learning, and never stop asking how things work. You now have a complete beginner's guide to ethical hacking. From installing Kali Linux to learning Metasploit, Burp Suite, solving CTFs, and even hunting real-world vulnerabilities, you're well on your way. If you found this helpful, leave a comment below and let us know which tool or topic you want to learn more about next. And don't forget to subscribe. New tutorials drop every week right here on Computer Hackers. Stay curious, stay ethical, and keep hacking the world the right way.